We've started our assembly. We have our skeleton model. Now it's time to create some geometry in a component. First, I'll create that component. I'll click the Create command in the ribbon, and the radio button is already set to Part. This is going to be for the dif differential. I'll click OK, and I'm going to use my standard start part. Click OK again, and for locating it, I'm just going to use the default constraint to align the default datum planes of the component with the default datum planes of my assembly. I hit the check mark and my part is created and in the model tree. To create features in it, I will activate it. And the first feature I'm going to put in there is going to be a copy geometry feature. And I created a published geometry feature in the skeleton. In order to reference that, I'll use the publish geometry button on the dashboard. I'll select the feature that I want. And if I wanted to, I could change the update control options and I always like to change the name of the feature. Hit the check mark, and my geometry has been copied into the differential part. In order to make the new features, it'll be easier for me if I open it up in its own separate window. And so here you see that I have a copy geometry feature, and that's the only geometry in here. To make it easier to for me to work I'm going to use my layers to turn off my default datum planes and that reduces the screen clutter and so I can use this geometry for making more geometry and one thing that I like to do is I like to copy the surfaces in case I'm going to make changes to them later on that way I have my original copy geometry feature intact and so, I'm going to use my selection filter to change it to quilt, so I can select that quilt surface, and I'm just going to use copy, and then paste, hit the check mark, and so now I have a copy of the geometry in the copy geometry feature, so that way my copy geometry will remain intact. And to make it easier for you to see the effect of what I'm doing, I'm going to create a cross section. So I will use the section command and choose planar and actually select one of my datum planes from the copy geometry feature. Let's go ahead and change the name. And I'm going to turn on the display of cross hatching, even though I don't have any surfaces in here. And let's hide the original copy geometry feature. Again, that's not necessary. It's just for you to see what I'm doing. And with the selection filter still set to quilt, I can select the original surfaces. And right now you're only seeing half of it. Uh, that's just for clarity. When I go back to the model tab, I can use the solidify command and this will fill in my feature. Hit the check mark and now I've got solid geometry. Let me disable my cross section for a second. And you can see what I have. So the solidify command will allow you to fill in a quilt with mass. The next command I'm going to show you is the thicken command. And so let's go ahead and suppress or temporarily delete the solidify feature. And let's activate the cross section again. So right now we just have our hollow quilt. And I'll select the quilt. And this time instead of using solidify, I'll use the thicken command and right now it's adding material to the outside of the quilt. I can use the flip button to add material to the inside and I have a dimension that I can use to change the thickness and if I already had geometry in the model I could change this from adding material to removing material. I'm happy with this. I'll go ahead and click the check mark and so that way you can see that I've added material using the thicken command in order to create geometry in a second method. And just to suppress this real quickly, the other way, of course, that you can use your copy geometry from the skeleton model is as references for new features. For example, I could use a flat surface as a sketch plane or as a depth reference or any 
kind of reference that I want to use as if it was normal native geometry. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button so you can be informed when new videos are created.